The Sledgehammer, How It Works. Many of today's adults who are otherwise capable of handling sophisticated modern devices are united by a contemporary malady, sledgehammer anxiety. I feel I'm going to break it. The old ways still work for me. This is where technology leaves me behind, are the most common chants of the sledgehammer phobe. Much of the initial fear of its use comes from a failure to understand just how it works. By attaching a heavy-weighted slug to a truncated super cissoid, a disproportionate fulcrum is created. In other words, if you're a TV set showing Regis promoting a diet book and you're in a room with an angry unpublished poet holding a sledgehammer, watch out. The novice sledgehammerer, from the German Sledgehammerama Ding Dong, must be familiar with a few terms. Thunk, the sound the clanker, street term for the heavy-weighted slug, makes when wielded against the stuff. Stuff, things that are to be wanged. Wang, the impact of the clanker and the stuff. Smithereens, the result of being wanged. Many people are surprised to find out that the sledgehammer has only one moving part, it. Yet, should I buy now or wait for the new models is a refrain so often heard from the panicky first-timer who forgets that the number of sledgehammer innovations in the last 3,000 years can be counted on one finger. There are currently only two types of sledgehammers on the market. The three-foot stick with a lead weight on the end called the normal and a new model currently being beta tested which is a three-foot stick with a lead weight in the middle called the below normal. But don't let market confusion keep you from getting your feet wet. The longer you wait, the fewer things you will demolish. There is a natural fear of sledgehammers, says the National Sledgehammer and Broken Toe Society, who in response has been charting the most common accidents and offers tips for the sledgehammer's safe use. The over-the-head position, for example, often leads to excruciating lower body pain, caused when the sledgehammer wedges itself between the thighs at the end of the backswing. There is also the self-inflicted back-of-the-head knockout on lateral swings, which is rare and only afflicts, to use the researcher's lingo, really dumb people. There are also cleaning accidents. A home hobbyist in Valdosta, Georgia, reported that while he was removing paint from his sledgehammer, it suddenly went out of control and destroyed his living room wall, even though he never let go of its handle. Despite all these drawbacks, the world of the sledgehammer is rife with enthusiasts. I find the sledgehammer very erotic, says Jane Parpadella, who is a stockbroker with Smith Barney and wants everyone to know her home phone number is listed. I think it's because my father was shaped like a sledgehammer, the long wooden body and the big metal head. Today, when I see a man with that shape, I want to pick him up and swing him against an apartment wall. The sledgehammer king, Marty Della Fangio, whose net worth was recently estimated at $42,000, was recently summoned before Congress to defend his reasons for attaching a mandatory web browser to his market-leading product. I smelled money to be made, said Della Fangio. The combination of a web browser and sledgehammer is a natural. Congress disagreed, and now the web browser can be sold only as an optional addition, although as a compromise, the powder puff attachment remains. Roustabouts have also noted a sharp increase in sledgehammer interest. We used to raise a circus tent pretty much on our own, says Toby, a 24-year veteran with Barnum & Bailey. Now I have crazies every morning from the local sledgehammer club watching me plug a spike. It's a disgusting circus-like atmosphere. One of them interviewed me for his newsletter. I let him take a swing, too. He looked like Tinkerbell trying to lift a semi by its hood ornament. But it's not all bad. At least there's a never-ending supply of chicks. Although once some woman picked me up by the ankles and slammed me against an apartment wall. In the last ten years, the sledgehammer has come into its own, finally recognized for what it is, a tool, a thing, and a heavy object. Hundreds of years from now, 
when technology has altered the sledgehammer's appearance into a sleek, digital, aerodynamic Uber machine, it will no doubt function as it does today, toppling the mighty and denting the hard.